If you look up in the right hand corner of the window, you'll find this pull down menu that gives you a list of different ways of viewing each location. Currently, I'm looking at this folder with the details view, which is the one I usually find most helpful because it gives me these little uh, bars at the top which I can click to sort things either say by date or by the file type or by the size of the file or by the name. By default, however, the usual view for a folder is the icon view. The icon view makes each folder and file look like it does on the desktop as a square with a big picture and then the title underneath. Even though this is the default, I find it far less useful for reasons I won't get into. On the other hand, the one place it does come in handy is when you're browsing through images. Because for an image file, the icon becomes a thumbnail of that image. So, for example, if I go into my pictures folder here, and if I switch to the icon view, now I can much more effectively browse through all of my images. This is especially helpful here because, as is typical with image files, uh, the names aren't very helpful, they're just like random letters and numbers. That just tends to happen, especially when you download pictures from the internet, because people are just very lazy about naming their files. Also notice with the icon view that you can actually change the size of the icons, so when you're browsing pictures you probably want to go up to the extra large icons, as big as they get, uh, but if you prefer you can make them smaller. So that's icon view. Another view option is what's called the list view, and I really can't imagine who would find this useful. The list view simply shows all the files and folders listed out in columns. And unlike the details view, you don't have the helpful extra information of, say, the file dates, or their file sizes, or what type of file they are. The tiles view is like a variant of the icon view, but the name is placed to the right of the icon instead of below it, and also they throw in extra information like the type of the file and also its size. And finally, the content view is like the tiles view, except the files are all listed in one dimension uh, vertically rather than also horizontally. So again, I recommend you simply stick with the details view by default, and then when you want to view through a bunch of pictures, then you can switch to the icon view. To open a file or folder, you can again use the context menu and select open, but more commonly we simply uh, select the item and then hit enter on the keyboard, or we simply double click that item. Like say if I wish to open the pictures folder here, I simply double click it. So this is actually one of those contexts in which single clicking something selects it, but then double clicking it actually opens it. You may be wondering what it means to actually open a file. Well, in this case, this is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, so if I were to double-click it to open it, it would open the file in Microsoft Excel. How exactly Windows knows which program to open this file with has to do with something called program associations, which we'll talk about in a little bit.